I told them, look here. Go read the book of Joshua chapter 20. God needs a piece of land to call his own. Where the sinners can find refuge. Now if I may ask all of you that I do not complain about what I do. If you came to this city of refuge and you were saved, why do you bar other sinners from entering where there is refuge? You lack the moral authority to deny somebody a chance. You can't chase anybody. No matter what they have done, the moment they find themselves in the city of refuge, they are the moment you step on the land of refuge, nobody can lay hand on you in the city of refuge. city of refuge. Gambe chivuga echobu budamu. And men could stand outside the city. Furious, burning up in anger. Your family demons. Crying lost because they, you survived. Bible, the whole Bible, the Old Testament, talks about one thing. Yes, Jesus. Jesus is the piece of land. You may take from me the New Testament. And I will show you Jesus in the Old Testament dying for you. Take away the New Testament and I will ably show you Jesus. Wave to me and I will show you Jesus. The very first verse of the Bible. In Genesis at the beginning the world was messed up. Mixed and it was full of darkness. What did God do first? Tala. He switched on light. He created light. And when light came, the world was put in order. Ladies and gentlemen, who is the light? Who is the light of the world? Now that means even Genesis, the moment light was created, order was formed for the world. Show me Jesus. If you remember Abraham, his son asked him, Daddy, Dad, I see the wood. I see the fire. But where is the sacrifice? And the Lord said, and Abraham said, You can't tell your child you are going to do He said, God will provide. And at the spot when Isaac was on the altar, that's hell about to be killed. When God said that he would provide Jesus surrendered himself like the lamb that was held in the shrubs. And the sword that was laid on Isaac was laid on the blameless lamb. It died in his place. Take away the New Testament and I will show you Jesus in the Old Testament. Do you remember the three boys? And the king asked, 
How many did we throw in the fire? Daniel, Daniel, in the book of Daniel chapter 3. And the king was told three men were thrown in the furnace. And the king replied How come I see a fourth man? And the fourth man looks like the son of God. Who is he that saved the three from fire? That was Jesus. Take, take away the New Testament. And I will show you how Jesus saved people in the Old Testament. Exodus 3. Moses asked. What should I tell the people? And he told him, go tell them I am. Now that name, nobody ever called himself by that name. No prophet. No might servant ever took up that name apart from Jesus. Him alone said, before Abraham, I am. Pick this I am. Plus the I am of Exodus. And I will ask you who was with Moses at the burning bush. He was with I am. And Jesus says before Abraham That means even Moses saw Jesus Christ in the burning bush Take away the New Testament And I will ably show you Jesus die for his people Do you remember the snakes? When the Israelites were beaten by snakes Moses asked what is it that I would do? And the Lord told him, Make a cross. And on it, make a cross. Get a snake. Kill a snake on it. Make a cross. And kill a snake on it. And whoever will be beaten by a snake. And the moment you look at the cross where the snake is, you will be healed. You may take away the New Testament. And I will show you Jesus died for his people. He died in the place of Isaac. He healed people from the snake bites. And that's Cancer From of all, Jesus is present and healing his people. And if you're beaten, run very fast to the cross. Look at the cross. Leave that place healed. And if you came with problems, look at the Jesus on the cross and you'll be healed. Hallelujah! You may take the New Testament away. And I will show you Jesus save his people in the Old Testament. Do you remember that that law still works, applies in some jurisdictions? If we ever find you stealing in many places, you'll be killed. And if you cause an accident and someone is dead, you have to run. Men obeyed the law to the letter up to John chapter 8. And they 
mwenzi life kobo aha ndagano mpya in the new testament a woman was caught red handed in fornication bible yegama ne bamuletera yesu and the bible says she was brought before jesus and they told jesus we caught her red handed you know the law master mm-hmm. tell us what yes. is it that should be done to this yes, woman jesus looked to the ground and he said whoever has done nothing of the sort ever Now these stones were meant for somebody's life apprehended found red handed in fornication and this woman was able to run to the piece of land where the piece of land was seated He is the piece of land. And Jesus, and Jesus says, actually, has never done such a thing. Go fast. And everyone dropped their stones. One by one. And they left in disguise, each one. <laughs> Thank God you made it to where he is. Hey! Whatever it is that fix your life will be disappointed. And Jesus told the woman, lady, woman, where are your accusers? Go in peace but sin no more. So that greater sin may not happen to you. Look at me and listen intently to this. All of us ask ourselves what is the greatest sin Jesus was talking about? How do you tell? What is it that is greater than being good? Jesus is talking about a certain kind of sin. What is it? I was at Ruzira Upper Prison and I saw the condemned section and those were condemned to death they are not supposed to mingle with the rest. And I inquired why. And because there is no greater judgment that can be passed against them. Because they are waiting to be killed. What is it that is a greater punishment? Which kind of greater sin is this? H. E. The greater sin is L. L. hell. That is hell. Jesus was warning the lady about hell. Because if I save you today, if you go back and sin again, you will die. Surely. But getting to hell is the greatest sin. Moyetengamanyamanyigemugamba so you will be young. On the call. It's VH single Kufa. Chilemoko Mbako. Katulia Tokubanga. Sitani Nachizula. And the devil realized. Ntieva Yagalo Kuta. The people he wants to kill. Buligua, Bulimunyamagui. Every. 
pray, his pray. Every pray of his. And then Jesus interrupts. Yes, And then Jesus interrupts. I rebuke that devil in the name of Jesus. Chiwete! Give me that best pen, please. Bible Gambeta. Baby Rabba Fulme Chibuka Satan at Rolo Munyama Goguzika, at Rolo Munyama Gwe, Lava Yesu na Yuma Ingire Chibuka. And Jesus was entering from the opposite direction. Ngabuli Satan, Igwasa, Yesu Amuza Mobulam. And whatever prayer he got, Jesus brought back. Yalwaso Mukase Chikulu Kutem Yaka Kuminebi. The woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. Avera Nadero Muta, Yesu na Omkazna Gaga, Kankwata Kshigoyeche, Omkazna. And the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. And the devil said, Jesus always intervened. Okay, and whatever you do, Chozimba, whatever you build, someone breaks it. He made someone, some man run mad. Stanley, Nanga <laughs> Yenga jasula, nga yesa la mainja. Sitani nga ya musimira yoko mabali guwa mwalo. Chokane yoji ya musimira. Avali ya ongira yesu wa guse. Nsabia na yoji ba kusimira. Oba sitani aloza ya kusimira walanyo. Na yoyesu wa tuke.